Hi everybody from a beautiful day in the wastelands. I'm looking at a mod called Rosenberg Zeppelin today. It was recommended to me by one of my viewers, Antique Geek, and it's a 2021 mod by Remco Verbeek. I will definitely be having a look at his other mods because this place is terrific. When you download the mod, you need to find this place. I'll show you where this is. So there's Camp Forlorn, and we are just here, Aranus Mine. When you go in there, you'll just have to kill a bunch of mole rats, fight your way through the dungeon, a bunch of people come and attack you at the end, and you can pick up this little dude, who at first I was a little bit put off by with his yeehaws and <laughs> yeehaws and, uh, you know, just kind of, he's <laughs> just kind of odd cowboy type thing. But, I tell you, he has been so useful. I'm getting quite the little robot army here, and these two are terrific. I'm enjoying having them along. The, do you know what I'm missing? I realised it the other day. One of my viewers mentioned Futurama to me, which is my favourite, all-time favourite cartoon ever. And I need a bending unit. That's what I need. I did look for one. I found a mod that gives Ed here Bender's voice. Uh, and expressions, but uh, there is no bending unit available. If you know of one, let me know. Anywho, so once you've been through the dungeon, you can call a vertibird. I'll show you where mine is. I've left him up at um, Nellis Air Force Base, so he's here. It's called Rosenberg. And I've actually cheated a little bit here, I didn't mean to, but I, I thought, oh, I've never been there before, just flew here and have subsequently found out that actually I was supposed to come in through the main gates, fight um, a whole load of people to make my way in and then talk to Pearl. So I've kind of done it a bit backwards. I have done all the quests here and they like me, but yeah, so you can cheat with this uh, and I'll show you in a second all of the places that you can go to. Some of them I haven't been to yet. So, in here... It takes you up to this amazing place. So, check it out. <laughs> You've just flown up in that thing. You can close the bay doors. Thank you. So, there's a workbench. There's name storage for all kinds of weapons, ammo, Look at that bike in there. Bear trap. Old and twacky bath chair that looks like it's come from an asylum. It's very spooky looking. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Awesome storage. Miscellaneous. Medium armor, light armor. It's got it all going on. Uh, but to me, just the whole idea of being in a blimp is just like a childhood dream come true for me this I can tell you and it's very classy too there are views out of the windows I've got my light on at the moment thank you by the way to those of you who told me about the flashlight on the pit boy which I had absolutely no idea was there so check it one bedroom then another one look at that how pretty it looks like a hollyhock Very nice. I'm struggling a bit with the definition of certain items in this game. Some of it's quite crystal clear and really good. Other bits, not so much, you know? Look at the lights going down the ceiling. All these Art Deco touches. Oh, fab. I love that. This is about the size of my actual real-life office. I'm not even joking. <laughs> this is where I do all my videos, guys, and my real job at least most of the week. So, globe display. Oh, medical brace and a lead pipe. Handy. I really like the fact that there are little flower pots around and about. Here we have another room, like a control room type thing. I love this old radio. How nice. That plant, by the way, that looks like it's sticking through the wall, I think it's a little conflict that I have with one of my uh, flora overhauls. Don't think it's supposed to be that big. 
that's sad and horrible and is going to get disabled. I quite like the little garden gnome though, don't know what that's about. I have seen them popping up and around and about in my game. Which, by the way, if you're interested, I'm level 20-something now. And, uh, yeah, I'm loving it. I have fallen out with Caesar, though. And he's uh, sending assassination squads after me, which is a bit unfair. <laughs> Just because I told him to stick it up his jumper. I've also killed Mr. House. I'm not quite sure what the repercussions of that are going to be. Oh, my God, how scary does he look? Oh, my God, when you go into his like glass coffin thing jeez anywho so this is it jukebox nice it works and then you have a bathroom very disappointing <laughs> there's cleaner and detergent in here guys so i don't quite know why it's in that state uh but yeah my first infirmary See what I mean? This is a really classy joint. Nothing in the fridge. I don't know why I clicked on that. Uh, rads from the sink. And there's a stove so you can cook. Don't even know what that is. And rushing water. That's, that's it. That's all I can do. Flour. Wine. I will look actually to see if there are any, because you know, I'm not going to eat a squirrel on a stick ever, um, or an iguana on a stick, so I need to look and see if there are any cooking mods. And then here's your control room, sorry it's taken me a while to get here, look at that chandelier though, it's everything isn't it? And this is where you do your driving from. So there can all these places you can go to, I haven't been to Jacobstown or Hoover Dam yet, uh, and I think that's about it really. So, let's go to Good Springs. So, once you've set the destination, just head on back. Open up your bay doors. Sound effects are amazing. And here we are, in Good Springs. So, fabulous mod, I love it, and um, thanks for the recommendation, AG, I absolutely love this place. What is that sticking out of the floor? Oh, did we just land on a scorpion? That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, I will call that the end of this wee video, and say thank you as always for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about it down in the comments, and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody.